Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It's the Kevin Jackson Show, kjradio.com. I want our theme today to be leadership. And that's a, that's a word that we kick around so often. It's almost like hero. People see somebody leading and they believe, oh, well, that person demonstrates leadership. Nope. Not necessarily the case. The left believed Barack Obama to be a leader. He looked like a leader. He sounded like a leader. And I, I remember people when during the time of, of uh, Trump's ascension uh, to the uh, presidency saying things like he he doesn't seem like a leader. He he doesn't appear to be certain things or whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, what, what's that mean? Let me tell you, as a fighter, <laughs> I, I, I'll give you a good example. There was a kid that I trained with. His name was Sosa. And he's a chubby Mexican kid, probably about 5'10". And he looked like a Pillsbury Doughboy. And if you saw him on the street, you wouldn't think anything of him. You wouldn't think this kid could fight his way out of a paper sack. And he was one of the, one of the best fighters I ever met. Now, if you're, ever, if you're trained as a boxer or some sort of a pugilist, you know what I'm talking about. There are people that you meet and you go, oh, he doesn't look like much. And don't get in the ring with him. Don't pick a fight with him because they will absolutely stitch you up, as we call it. People think they recognize things. They, they go, oh, well, he has the carriage of a leader. Barack Obama made people believe he was a leader. Barack Obama was, look, I got no issue at all with this fool. None at all, except to tell you the truth. I don't have a dog in a fight. I don't give a crap about Barack Obama, president, non-president, whether he was a dope smoking chum guy leading his little gang of misfits in Hawaii or president of the United States. What I'm going to tell you about Barack Obama is the honest truth. Whether you want to see it or not, people will tell me, Kevin, you're jealous of him. I look, tell me whatever you want. I don't care. I'm going to give you the truth about Barack Obama. He was a fake leader. He made you feel like you were being led. I'll ask you a very simple question. If you were going to pick somebody to join you in a fight, would you pick Barack Obama? The answer is no. I'm going to answer for you. If you were going to pick somebody to run your organization to say, let's build an organization together and, and, and get it, you know, charge it up and get people moving forward. If you pick Barack Obama, you would be the biggest clown on the planet. He's never done it. He doesn't know how to do it. He can stand in front of an audience and make them believe in, in the unseen. And, and you know what? That's great for him. That got him elected. That got the Democrats to just go off the cliff with him, losing a thousand seats and having nothing to run on in the future. Thank goodness for, let me give you this. I'll give you some praise for the people out there saying, oh, Kevin, come on. I'm going to give you a little praise. Thank you for Barack Obama, because without him, we don't get to see what abject lack of leadership gives you. And therefore, we get a real leader. See, leadership is is uh, it's such a cool concept when you think about it. Some people say uh, the art of communication is the language of leadership. And I think that's where Barack Obama falls. They see it as, oh, well, he's a communicator. He's going to pass Obamacare. He's going to give people all these these niceties that come with, you know, with, with his ability to do this as a president, he can, he can now give away all these things and that's leadership. Okay. If that's the way you describe it, great. Leadership is partly communication. You have to be able to do it. I would tell you, if you really want to look at the art of communication and leadership, look at Donald Trump's tweets. Oh yeah. We got to go there. By the way, Happy New Year again, folks. Let's just do that all month. Let's just make sure we understand that this is a Happy New Year in 2018. I see the eight at the end of that 2018, and I get excited because we are in the era of American leadership. Truly, we've gone decades without it. And what we've watched is the world go to crap. <laughs> That's a technical term. It's gone to crap. 
And we've been under this delusion that we're leading the world. You know what we started to do that there's a saying leading from behind. We started to follow the world under Barack Obama because they said he was such a great leader. His leadership was in his communication skills. They stick stuff on a teleprompter. He read it. He stood there. He looked good in a suit. He he talked like, hey, you know, what we're going to do? This is what's going to happen. And people people going around the world going going to look at America and they're going to like this, that, and the other. And people just, oh, my God, he's amazing. A black dude that can put two words together and not be like, oh, well, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was leadership. That's all it took for the left, man, is don't be holding your crotch. Don't say things like, you know, I'm talking about, man, and you were good enough. Congratulations, leftists, for making black people believe that that's the that's what we want to achieve. And, you know, the sad part, people people believe this. We're going to be talking about LeBron James today. LeBron James believes that Donald Trump is a bad guy. He says, I'm not going to stay at a Trump hotel. Well, congratulations, LeBron. Really? Why? What is it about Donald Trump other than the fact that he isn't sticking a D behind his name? Because let me tell you something. This is a sad part about all this. And and we got a lot to talk about with leadership. And I'm going to get back to these other points. (laughs) Yeah, I know. Y'all look at me like, Kevin, you always jump around. I know I jump around. That's what keeps my audience on the toes. But look, at the end of the day, people are, LeBron James, if Donald Trump was a Democrat, LeBron James would be all over it. He'd love him. He he would be talking, extolling his virtues. And for the record, if Donald Trump was a Democrat, can you imagine what these these clowns would be saying about him right now? They'd be talking about this tax cut like it was the best thing that ever happened. They would look at this stock market and say, we didn't even think it was possible, but we've done even better than Barack Obama. Yay. They would. We couldn't. As a Republicans, we wouldn't win a seat in October 2000. I mean, in November 2018, if we if our lives depended on it. They'd be extolling the virtues of Trump. But these weak kneed sissies, these spineless jellyfish politicians on the left will sell out America over an ideology. Same with LeBron James and many of these other Holly weirdos and entertainers and whatever else. Anyway, leadership. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Kevin Jackson, you listen to TV. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 